Hello everybody, uh, guten Abend, willkommen, uh, and welcome to uh, tonight's, oh, please don't, uh, there's been plenty more German uh, coming your way over the course of the evening, don't worry. Uh, welcome to tonight's Railfan TV stream. Uh, we are coming to you live tonight from our garages, uh, and we are going to be showing you uh, all about the Navarca Dresden route, which is launched today. Hello Matt, uh, good to see you this evening. Hello JD, I am very good, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm really well, thank you. Uh, really, really looking well, looking forward to tonight, but also it's been really great to see uh, already lots of people enjoying the route. Um, and uh, we've seen lots of nice screenshots and everything like that as well, particularly some of the, the night lighting as well, which we'll, we'll hopefully cover a little bit of today as well. So, yeah, really, really exciting. Um, this is the second of our rush hour routes. Obviously, uh, Boston uh, Sprinter was the first, and we have got the London commuter coming further down the line. Um, and also, um, we announced this week, if you haven't seen it already, that the Meissen branch we are currently working on as well. Uh, you might have previously seen that we were unable to um, include it in the initial launch batch, um, but we are going to be looking at um, adding it uh, further um, um, further time down the line uh, hopefully not too far into the distance so you can enjoy that as well um, there will be a couple of changes that come with that as well you might notice some of the PIS stuff uh, is going to change after that release as well so I don't know if you people have picked up on that already um, but yeah we're looking forward to showing you it tonight and just having a little bit of a chilled stream showing answering all of your questions and showing as much as we can over the course of about the next hour and a half so yep you guys are welcome to chuck any questions in the chat as, uh, as, mu as much as you can um, and we will do our best to answer as many as we can because uh, we want you to have the best possible uh, preview, I suppose, of the route if you are considering investing your time or your money into it. So, Matt, shall we get going then? Let's let's yes. take a look through the menu screen, shall we? <clears throat> so, the journey. Uh, I've mentioned this a few times on some of the other streams. The uh, I've turned my volume down, by the way. So, hopefully, that balances things uh, balances things nicely. Um, let me know. Uh, so, anyway, in the journey, you've got. Um, what we've done on this journey is we've tried to have more chapters with less in them. Um, so you look at that one and you'll see there's four. So there's four, three or four in, in each chapter. And the idea is that it sort of focuses on developing um, go tutorials into, into using them and then using different locos, using combinations of the, the, the trains. And then towards the end you get this uh, change of pace as uh, your character becomes a, a freight driver. Um, and uh, even in the final chapter uh, starts working at uh, shunting so um, lots to uh, lots to play in the journey um, all the scenarios are in there and all the training is in there but just to outline it you've got the route intro the 143 the cab car the talent 2 the 146.2 the 185.5 the 363 so all of the drivable vehicles cabs have got uh, have got their tutorials as normal scenarios the six because of the shunter being added an extra scenario was added um peach and predicament there back again so you've got all of these different um scenarios that you can play which uh, will do various things that uh, not quite the same as you'd get in the uh, in the service mode so definitely interested to see what your feedback is on those if you could drop something into the forums um and then finally the timetable now i've got some extra DLC. This is my personal Xbox Series X. This is a normal um, retail consumer Xbox, the same one that everybody else has got. So uh, I'm just playing it on this tonight. So this has got my collection of DLC on there, which is most things. Um, and you'll see that BR101 is present with the um, uh, with the IC services, and you'll see the Talent 2 is present as well uh, with um, with some passenger services. So. Um, I think that covers everything. You can look through the list and you can see there's, you know, there's quite a range of services on each one. They cover all sorts of different things. And we can talk about it um, here as we go down the route. Um, so, uh, I was going to start. Where's my list here? On oh, the 143. Right. Yes. So we're going to do tonight, we are going to be doing uh, what the route on, with the one or uh, yeah. A service with the 143 we're going to be doing service with the talent 2 we're going to be doing service with the 363 and a 185 as well so we're going to try and give you as much as we possibly can do uh, in a nice little bite-sized package over the course of the evening yes so we'll start off with uh, an 8 a.m run from effectively this runs neustadt into uh uh into uh, dresden cool should we kill our face cams Matt? let us do that 
I've seen a few people um, saying that the 146.2 is difficult to release the brakes on. Um, you need to apply a minimum of 10 kilonewtons on the tractive force meter before the brakes will um, trigger release. And uh, that's what we were told is how it's supposed to work. So that's what's been implemented. If that, let us know if that isn't helping you. Hopefully that will help. Right. Okay. Let's uh, put the uh, key in there. Swing round. Lock the doors. I was going to say this looks like the wrong one, four, three. Let me just uh, go back to the main menu and uh, try that one more time with feeling. <laughs> one, four, three. Let's try that one, shall we? Uh, da, da, da. How much work did I do on the promo for the release? <laughs> None at all. I've seen you all thinking it was all the pink was down to me. It wasn't at all. <clears throat> Matt, Matt's been ever present on the live streams though, so. I think basically everyone. Every time I demo that I show the route off internally though, there's always lots of pink everywhere. And I think it's like everyone's just, it's even if they're not even realizing it at this point, <laughs> it's becoming a thing. And they probably look at it afterwards and go, oh. Oh, he's got another one in, hasn't he? All <sighs> oh. right, let's uh, wander off down the back here. Why was it the wrong 143? Because it defaulted. I've got the Rules Ignored add-on on here as well. Uh, and service mode just shows your collection of compatible trains. As it always does. Uh, question about the route, uh, route length. It is currently 51 miles. Uh, that's 83 kilometres. Um, from Dresden uh, to Riza. Uh, and we will be including the Meisen branch uh, further down the line. Um, so it will get a little bit longer after that. You don't realise how many things you say, like idioms that you say that are related to, to railways and, and whatnot until you say them multiple times in the live stream <laughs> and think, oh, wait, no, that's actually quite relevant. <laughs> wait for the brakes to come off. <clears throat> Someday. Thank you. I can see we've got Ed in the chat as well. Hello, Ed. Um, there are currently no plans to do the um, the airport branch, uh, the uh, Flugarden uh, branch at no. the moment. Uh, no, no plans. Um, we were looking at the uh, we were looking at the branch lines, and we realised that we probably had a, enough scope to be able to, to put one more in. Um, and we chose the Meisen one because we thought it was the, well. I mean, I, I I didn't have any say in this decision, but Matt, can you tell why why we went for Meisen over the Flughafen one? Uh well, we thought it was probably the um, the prettiest of the two, and actually, a lot of the feedback we were seeing was, if you're only going to do one, at least do that one. Um, so it kind of lined up with our own thoughts on the subject as well. Uh, so that's how we ended up with that route. Nice. Cool. Should we? Uh, are you at a good stage, Matt, where we can take a look at the route map? Uh, not right now, but it will be shortly. No. Okay. Cool. I will leave you to it. Because a lot of these, uh, a lot of the locos that we that are in um, the the route pack, uh, a lot of people will have s seen them before. Oh, well, I mean, we can just show that, really, and I don't have to talk. Uh, so yeah, we have a, um, a big selection of locos that come with this pack, and actually all of them have gone through a little bit of a, a, a rework, and um, particularly on the interiors as well and there's been a lot of work that's been done to um, improve the physics on them um, in some cases improve the audio on them um, and a lot of people have actually seen already and said oh wow this is the the, the talent portal too for instance the audio is great in this now so that's always good to see but matt i don't know if you've got like a quick uh whistle stop tour of what might have changed with some of the low coast that some players might already be familiar with so i asked the uh, i asked the engineers that worked on all the trains can you just give me an outline of what had changed to make this three <laughs> pages long um, so, broadly speaking, all of the physics have been redone from scratch. 
on pretty much all of the trains. I th certainly the 143 and the 146 and the 185. I think the 363 was pretty much spot on as it was, and the Talent 2 was pretty much spot on as it was, although it's had some tweaks. Um, but the other ones have had a, a basically a gut and rebuild, completely wiped and re restarted. Um, the um, sound wise, they've had um, tweaks, you know, they've had some very varying in, in work between minor and two. I mean, they haven't had new sound samples applied or anything like that. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it says F Block says everything you can't see in screenshots has been changed. That's pretty much that's true, to be honest, because the art is the same. There wasn't really anything wrong with the art. Um, but the other stuff, the sound, the physics have all been massively overhauled. So they drive very, very differently and they sound. You know, I think you'll hope. I'm hoping everyone agrees they sound quite a bit better than they did. Cool. Oh, good question from Mr. JMB. How easy is it to transfer the rebuilt models to other routes? Um, so this is something that um, the uh, preserve crew can look at. I wouldn't, well, I'm not necessarily going to go ahead and say it's easy, but it's not. It shouldn't be hard either. Um, it'll be a question of because uh, it's not always. Um, that we can do a one for one swap because because the setup has changed so for example this 143 has got a removable reverser uh, which means that if we were to put this 143 and just jump it straight into Rosig Nord then the tutorial would break because it's not set up for that so we have to just basically it's not just a question of dropping the trains in you have got to think about what else might go wrong that's dependent on these things and then make sure that um, everything everything just runs smoothly with that but it is certainly something that um, Adam's team have done previously where they've looked at where mod newer changes have been made and tried to backport some of those along but I wouldn't go so far as to say it's trivial no it sounds like it's kind of the, the the sort of nuts and bolts of almost plonking it onto the uh the other routes is it in the very uh easiest of terms okay but it's the things that come around the 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 locos which are the more challenging parts. yeah there's, there's lots to look at and make sure that it, it's gone it's gone in okay yeah We've got a request to see the ticket machines be interacted with. Uh, this is a little fun thing. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe do that a little bit later, Matt. Yeah. Uh, Gun Monsters asked, do the destination boards at the stations uh, work? Uh, I'll let you take that one, Matt. So destinations work, uh, the PAS boards and on the trains themselves. However, where the destination boards or where the train is going off the route, so this train, for example, is going to Perna doesn't stop at Dresden it goes onwards in real life to Perna um, the problem with that is that um, there were some files needed to be updated to add that stuff in and because we'd already started the Meissen branch we couldn't put them in uh, because those files have already been updated um, so those will get fixed as part of the Meissen branch update which will then come with service mode overhaul as well uh, which will bring all of the stuff in. So with, along with alongside the mice and branch ups, like you should see the the service mode um, get uh, additional services and also all the end, all, all the destinations for every service should work at that point. Yeah, so it should feel a lot busier as well, which is which is which is um, one of the things that I think we wanted to get in for mm. the mice and branch release as well. Yeah, absolutely. So just on that, uh, we don't have a date for that as of yet. We're hoping that it's going to be um, soon-ish. Um, yep. But uh, we'll, as soon as we have more information for you on a release date, we will, of course, update you in the roadmap um, because it's something that we want to shout about. Um, we love this route and we'd like to try and make it as as, as uh, comprehensive as possible um, with the time that we've got. And uh, it feels like a really great addition to what is already quite a, a varied and exciting um, route for, for, for players to play. Oh, absolutely. Uh, PJ Grosser says, uh, does the 112 sub in? Yes, it does, uh, because the 112 does actually run here in real life occasionally. So uh, we did sub that into a few services. Yeah, the 101 as well, doesn't it? Doesn't it? If you've got a uh, house tracker right in raw, you can do a couple of services with the 101 as well, I believe. Is that correct? Hub tracker right raw with the 101, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, but in order to do the 101 here, you would need to have had. Oh, sorry, yes. Indeed, yes, you need to. Loco DLCs won't work without their parent route, essentially, even if you're not going to use them on the parent route at this moment. That is something we want to try and resolve in the future, but it's not something that's resolved right now. So, How many extra services for the new time to work? I don't know at the moment, Trainspotter 7. 
I've still got to do the work. We're hoping a, a fair amount, though. Well, we're aiming to uh, copy as, as far as possible what we've seen in real life and in the timetables, so whatever that works out being, and uh, whatever actually works out in the game. Last one. Okay, so um, should we talk a little bit? Oh, sure. Is this a good opportunity to do the route map? Uh, well, we're just finishing this one actually. Yeah, yeah. We, once we finish this, we can. Uh, once it finishes, I can uh, drop it into the uh, return to free roam, and then we can look at the map. Yes, and ticket machines <coughs> maybe as well. Ticket machines. It's a little toy that um, Lucas and Ed were playing with and uh, <laughs> uh, had a bit of fun with. It's an interesting idea because it's it's interactive. It's like a it's an interactive thing on the on the platforms. It's great fun. Absolutely, and um, I think a lot of players will have seen Lucas Ned pop up in discords and on the streams and all that kind of stuff. And you can see the, the love and care and attention that they've kind of given some of these elements to, to the route as well, which is which is wonderful. There are a couple of little Easter eggs in there as well. Um, we won't go into any details of what those Easter eggs are because some players have already figured out at least one of them. Um, but uh, we will let you have some fun with that. <clears throat> Baby Bean Kid has asked me to tie my questions so they make you miss a uh, PZB alert. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you know what I don't think. Well, actually, no, I'd say he's on the list, but he's already on the list, and he knows it. So yeah, we, we've already managed to do. I think we managed to do that in one of the first preview streams, Matt. Anyway, didn't we? We managed to distract you from a PZB. It happens frequently, even when no one's distracting me, to be fair, so... <clears throat> but what I find is that blaming chat is normally good enough. Yeah, I'd, I'd go with that. So, uh, I'm just trying to find... Uh, this is where I find that none of them were put onto these platforms. Are they down on the main concourse, Ed? Let's go main concourse. Oh, ho, 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 ho. achievement. <laughs> We are on Xbox tonight, in case you hadn't quite realised. Yeah, in case you hadn't realised. So I'm, I'm on Xbox Series X. Although, excitingly, Matt is getting his new PC delivered tomorrow. Well, so, rumour has uh, it. Rumour has it. <clears throat> this is what I'm hoping. That's what I was told. Can't find any ticket machines. Where have you put them? None in help barn off. Oh, really? Okay. Let's look at the map then. There you go. There's the map. Right. This is uh, Dresden. Let me just zoom out first. This is the route. Uh, in the bottom right, you've got Dresden Habanov, uh, where the uh, where the the foots are, and in the top left, you have got Risa, um, <clears throat> which is on the journey towards Leipzig. So we're about halfway to Leipzig, I think, at this point when you get to Risa. Um, if I zoom in now to uh, Dresden, so you can see Dresden here, along with the uh, the depot just to the left. Um, the line then crosses over here via Dresden Mitter to Dresden Neustadt um, and over the river Elbe, which is kind of there somewhere, I think. Um, and um, our, our route then carries on up here, so the airport would carry on up that way. Um, you've got the uh, Freight GBF bypass line and you've got the main line running up here, um, which then runs to this, which is Radebol Ost. Um, this is actually a piece of uh, narrow gauge railway uh, sitting in here. Don't, no, it's not usable. It's just there for the look. But it does have narrow gauge track on it. Um, and then over here, we carry on along the main line. And the first thing you find is the train, is the, uh, the diversion. So at this point, freight services, intercity services, and intercity express services um, will take this avoiding line, which runs parallel to the main line, and then rejoins it again up past Priestwitz back down to here if you uh, don't take that if you're basically a red train um, then uh, you carry on into Coswick uh, and then you run up here now this bit here is the branch to Mason so that'll be where you'll be going at some point when that comes out but for now you'll be carrying on up here uh, past um, all these bits here crossing up here two or three station stops before you get to Priestwitz and then you carry on up via um, here and uh, Globitz and then you round the corner 
uh, and into Risa. And there's little minimal um, freight facilities here as well in, uh, in this station. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's the route. Go away, noisy. That's there. Yeah, that's the route, uh, Dresden Teresa, um, and again, so you, you, your normal trains take the left-hand line here, and your faster or your non-stop trains take the uh, the right-hand line there. Are the timetables that take that side branch? Do you mean which side branch do you mean, Lunar Visits? Um, if you mean Meissen, not yet. Um, what happens is the Meissen services, which are S1, will run up to Coswig, and then an AI train will take them off to the uh, off to the branch. Um, if you mean Grosenhain up here then yes, um, you can run Grosenhain services. In fact, I think that's it. Yeah, we're doing that next. We're going to do Coswick to Grosenhain next um, and do that one. Both of these lines are used, whether uh, the, the, the stopping line and the uh, and the advanced line and the avoiding line as well. So, uh, and this one I think is used in scenarios. It's not currently used in services because it's actually quite rarely used for freight. So all the freight is currently running on the main line over there in the timetable but I think it's used in server in scenarios right what are we doing now uh, we are gonna go to Coswick challenging yes uh, AI trains driving in service mode with the pantograph down aware of it uh, it's being chased up at the moment to find out why um, it's um, yeah it's frustrating yeah, a couple of people also talking about um, performance issues as well. Uh, a couple of crashes, a couple of yeah. If you're, if, if you're having any, you let us, go on. Sorry. No, I was gonna say if you let us know on the forums in the technical reports forum, just exactly what your, um, what platform you're on, um, what you're doing, what loco you're driving, what part of the route you are, that helps us to be able to identify and diagnose what might be causing some of these potential issues. So pre please give us as much info as you can. Yeah. We'll investigate um, and say we, we want people to be able to primarily be able to play as much as, as, much as they can, obviously, and uh, crashes are obviously not great in that aspect. So we're going to try and make sure that we, we take a look and see what, what we can do to, to solve those. Yes. Uh, Criminal, is it intentional there are no 500 hertz magnets on the S-Bahn tracks? I believe that is the case, yes. Um, we're in East Germany and the rules aren't quite the same uh, as uh, as uh, the rest of Germany. Um, and uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to explain that some more on tomorrow's um, signalling stream. Um, so yes. I'm still trying to understand the, exactly the, the rules and so forth and that Lucas is uh, is helping me with that at the moment so we're going to talk about HL but we're also going to talk about some of the, the strangeness and some of the things that are not quite what you'd expect and 500 hertz magnets is one of those things that is a really great segue to say that we are not done for Railed Fan TV this week once we finish tonight we have another well Matt will be on tomorrow night talking about um, German signalling uh, which is we know quite a uh, an important thing that a lot of people perhaps would like a little bit more information on. I certainly would. So if you're interested, we will do. We're doing kind of almost like a part two to the one that we did maybe about six months ago, um, and Matt will be talking us through the, the, the basics, but also some of the, the additional works that come with, say, this particular route that you're going to need to pay attention to. Right, we checked our ticket. Now I've got my ticket. I'm allowed on the train. Is that how it works? Why not? For today, it is. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 actually, let's get the doors open. Let's get the uh, press this button here to get the uh, the little um, slidey plate to come out, uh, and then we'll open the right doors. You see, the little foot plate comes out now. If you don't do the uh, press that little button there, the T57 centimeters, you won't get it. Uh, it just opens the doors, and people can, you know, wind the gap basically. Um, let's get the uh, the uh, all important systems on. Oh, there's a very important question about: Are we going to be able to make vending machines work in the future? I am very up for that. I could see vending machines coming before toilets, yes. <laughs> right, 
uh, let's put that onto dark, dark mode so it's a bit less annoying. Got a red light here, so we're waiting. We're waiting. It's a bit of a, a jam up happens at, uh, at Coswig because you've got a combination of a bunch of lines to coming together. If you look at the map, you've got the stuff coming out here from Friedrichstadt um, coming up here. You've got the uh, eastbound stuff coming across here, both mainline and S-Bahn. And it all kind of merges and has to sort of fit down onto the one track, essentially. So there's a bit of a, uh, a race for resources here. Um, so we've got a little bit of a wait until we get our line. Meanwhile, any other questions? Other than three cars, what's different about this talent too? I couldn't tell you exactly because uh, I need to find out. But it was re basically it was rebuilt, this talent too. Um, compared to the uh, the ones that we had before, I mean the uh, the interiors are different, and that is quite a substantial bit of it. The cab, I think, is pretty much the same. The nose is the same, but I think that the uh, body structures, actually, the length of the vehicles and so forth, is different. Um, so uh, yeah, it's quite a substantial. It's quite a substantial amount of work to represent what doesn't look like an awful lot of change, which is uh, always the way with the talents, unfortunately. Why did 101 IC schedules only go in one direction? Yeah, you see, this was one we spotted too late, unfortunately. But they do go in both directions. They're just all named in the same direction. Yes. Slaps head. Um, so, uh, copy-paste gone mad. Um, so, um, if you actually look at them in the map when you're selecting them, you'll see the yellow, uh, there's like a yellow teardrop on on the start point and like a, a cross hatch on the end point and you'll see that they flip and you can use that to um, uh, to sort of um, to figure out which way they're going but yeah they are in there and they are going in both directions I just I proved that before the stream by just spawning an ice and a 101 in Risa and it, and it it is work just basically look at where the yellow teardrop is in the in the map <clears throat> that'll be fixed in the service mode update as well <clears throat> Nice. Uh, Rob's asked, would you consider this to be the definitive German route now, Matt? Oh, it's absolutely my favourite German route. It's got everything. It's uh, it's really, really good fun. I, um, and the visuals of it are just so gorgeous. Um, I think the job that um, Ed, Lucas and the team did, uh, realising the visuals on the route and bringing the signals, because it's different German signals. This is not... This is HL signals, and they're a little bit different to the normal signals. So uh, they've, they've done a really good job bringing that to life as well. So it's uh, no, this is absolutely my favourite German route to date. I'll tell you how I kind of describe it. It feels like all of the other German routes have been building up to this one. I think we've taken perhaps the best parts of some of the other German routes and kind of smushed them all into this one and offered perhaps a little bit more um, sort of unique things that to do with this room will come on to sort of night lighting a little bit later on for instance but yeah i think this feels like it's really complete even without perhaps having the branches it feels like a complete route and there's lots and lots of things to do and mm. uh, get excited about yes uh liam do all of the trains have the separate c for piece of b it's not really a separate piece of c for piece of b it's a context sensitive um, response to the control button uh, so the B key for example in the Xbox controller um, so that it will um, apply the appropriate thing so at the moment as well that's doing PZB uh, it should apply C for when it needs to apply C for so it should be context sensitive so you shouldn't have any uh, any issues with the uh, I don't know if they've all got it they're all supposed to have it I need to check that I know that all the locos certainly have it Yeah, we can talk about um, safety systems perhaps in a second, um, but again, it might be worth just sort of giving a little 101 mat to anybody perhaps who maybe isn't familiar with with PZB or C for what what how how we go about it maybe when we're moving. Uh, but um, well, actually, before we start, is really a good idea because then I don't have to worry about anything. So the key thing is these little magnets down here. Um, so this is what they call a thousand hertz and a two thousand hertz magnet. Um, and um, as we, um, that one's off, hopefully we're next in the queue. Um, so as you go over one of those magnets, the computer on the train knows you should now press a button to acknowledge with it. 
um, but doesn't tell you anything. So unlike P if you're used to the UK systems like AWS, where AWS alarm goes off, you smack a button, everyone happy. There's no alarm goes off with this, so you need to be alert, looking at the signals, looking at the signposts, and knowing that's something I need to acknowledge. And as you go over it, you press the acknowledge button. And the first step is understanding the signals and I'm, because the signals are giving you a ton of information it's not like UK system which is really relatively basic um, telling you how many blocks clear it you've got ahead of you these signals are literally telling you how fast to go and the HL signals tell you a lot more about how fast to go um, than the the normal signals do but it consequently means there's more things to learn um, so you'll know when you know what the when you know what the signal aspects mean you can then know to um, we know oh, I need to acknowledge that one and then I need to know also, well, having acknowledged it, I've now got to follow a set of instructions because I need to slow down and da da da. So um, we did do a piece of B tutorial <coughs> stream um, some while ago now, it's on YouTube, uh, and that gives you an in-depth into everything about German signaling and how PZB works with it. Um, and then what we're going to do tomorrow is sort of a refresher, um, focusing on the, uh, the signals on this route, the HL signals on this route. So if you enjoyed that, tune in tomorrow. For much more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, someone's just said, actually, so glad they bought the Seas Pass. Really want London commuter, but got the pass to get the other two whilst they waited. Love this route, and without the pass, no way would I have got it. Well, that's great to hear. We, we really want to try and. <coughs> I think that's a really good byproduct of having like a season ticket. If, if you're going to sort of get the three routes, you're probably going to want to play them, and it kind of opens your horizons perhaps to a slightly different geography or different countries way of, 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 of producing content it might open your horizons to wanting to get perhaps further German content in the future um, we're really happy with kind of how that's all worked out and it's meant that perhaps people have broadened their horizons a little bit in terms of the kinds of routes that they play and the kind of locos they like driving so um, we're really happy that that's happened and it's glad, glad that you've, you've, you're enjoying it as well God, it's another one coming off the branch get on with it <clears throat> um, crossings. Do we know if crossings are working on this route? They're all supposed to be working. So if you're finding any that are not working, then post details of them on the forums, yeah. uh, and I can get the team to go and have a look through them. Cool. Maybe, maybe once the uh, this S-Bahn train comes in, we can go. Legend says he's still waiting at Cosmic, waiting for the signal. <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> um, in terms of like the collectibles and uh, the scenarios and all of that kind of thing, when Mycin, the Mycin branch gets released, will any of those things, will there be more things added to say, will there be any more smart scenarios added or will there be more collectibles? Um, no, no, there won't no. be any more. So we're, we're, we're looking at whether or not we'll be able to do another scenario, but I doubt it. Um, we're going to focus on timetable um, and get that um, um, ad updated, fixed up with the feedback that we've had um, and uh, make it fully support the Mycin branch. Uh, and we, but I don't think we can really update the collectibles particularly easily once the product's been out either. I know I'm going to be late. When have I ever bothered about when I'm late? All right, can I go now? Yay! Yay! Woo! So this is a HL signal. Notice the yellow light bar underneath it, the four light yellow, yellow lights underneath it. This is where things get different to what you're used to if you're used to normal PZB. Um, so that's a... Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember now what that means. Um, can't remember. I'm trying to do put something the, uh, at some it, point. it means do something at some point and uh, try not to mess it up. Yes, the yellow means um, means sixty. Uh, if it's a green bar, it means a hundred. Um, so it means we'll be ending up at sixty kilometres an hour. But uh, I'm currently in uh, monitoring anyway or start program. So get over these junctions and we'll pull out a start program and get up to sixty. Sadly, through no fault of Matt's own, for a change, we are late for the uh, for the scheduled stop. Right, released from monitoring. There's 
So just while we are building up a bit of speed, um, we have that there is. Uh, I know we talked about this on Tuesday, but in terms of um, Xbox fixes for some texturing issues and uh, audio issues, we are currently looking at those. Um, and we hopefully will be pulling together a patch which hopefully fixes some of those bits and pieces in, in, the, in the, I won't say near future because I don't want to commit to that at this stage, um, but in, in the future. So if you're on Xbox and you've seen a few things look a little bit weird, um, we know that they, they do and we are looking at it and we are testing them at the moment. Yeah, there's the, uh, the texture glitch, which you're going to see on this. I'm using my normal Xbox Series X, and you're going to see it. Um, occasionally, the textures de-res briefly. Um, and there's also the uh, PS4 livery pixelation. So we've actually got fixes in uh, in test at the moment for uh, for some of these issues. And uh, if all goes well, we'll try and roll, we'll roll them out as soon as we can. Cause we know there's a lot of pain being felt there. Yes, absolutely. So this is obviously a rush hour route. The rush hour features that come alongside something like this include the increased volume of passengers that you might see, particularly at peak times. Um, the behavioral changes of the passengers, increased clothing, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I hope, and when, particularly when the branch line for Meisen comes in, you'll see a lot more uh, traffic on the, on the rails as well. So on the line, sorry, as well. So, um, I hope well it should feel like a proper kind of rush hour route um if not already then at least in in the next when when my the Meisen branch gets released mm. yes absolutely i put the frame counter on apologies should have done that from the start yeah Oops. you made a decent time Matt. bearing in mind we only kicked off about three seconds before you're meant to be due in. It's fine. It's kind of the demon driver that I am. Uh, you can't open the windows on here. No, it opens the door. How do you switch on FPS on Xbox? Plug a keyboard in and press F3. Literally all I've done. Plug the keyboard into the USB port in the front. <clears throat> so you can see, solid sort of 60 FPS. Jack's just asking if we're look, looking to sort the ICE issues. Uh, yes, but if you can let us know details, uh, that will make our lives and uh, it easier, our lives a bit easier, and make it so that we can sort of focus in on the right areas first of all. When we're yeah, around. make sure you posted your issues on the forums with as much data. You know, what really helps is a video of the issue um, so that we can see it, but as much information as possible so that we can repro the issue and then we can try and uh, wrap in a fix. Right, Nidro is next. Nice one. Um, and you might have been seeing as well, um, there are uh, different ballast colours throughout this route as well. This is a, obviously this is an intended thing and it's one of the realism things that we've tried to incorporate within this route as well in that um, in real life these are different um, and you might see as you go through that sometimes it looks a little bit like you're going from one material <coughs> to another that is intentional and that is kind of how it works on the route itself as well. How do you mean that AI teams have sometimes have delays Valentin? Right, coming up on need around now. Thanks, Liam. Will you be bringing ticket machines to the new London Brighton route? I don't think they'll be on London Brighton, but who knows? Um, again, they were added really late on in the Dresden dev cycle, and uh, a different team have been working on Brighton. So, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Not making any promises. Yeah. Uh, and Paul, what we were just talking about with regards to Xbox in terms of textures and white flashes and stuff—that is umbrellaed into that. 
Yeah, the, the fix is quite a low-level fix, and we, we, we're expecting it should fix a number of things. But let's get this one out, and then we'll f see feedback from everybody on what we you know how it's improved. Yeah, yeah. And information screens are something we're um, aware of, Niels. Uh, it will, we're looking at um, bringing this together when the Mice and Branch comes out, because some of uh, Matt explained it earlier much more eloquently than I'm going to be able to. Um, but essentially, work was already done. Then Mizen, we started. We started doing work on Mizen. We didn't want to compromise that work, so ended up being that we will be doing a lot of that work with the patch that includes Mizen. If that makes sense. Yeah, we realised too late what was wrong and why it wasn't showing them. And it's like, oh, we can't fix it now. Um, so uh, that's one of the reasons we wanted to come clean about uh, Mizen being developed, so that we could explain why the VIS wasn't fixed for release. But uh, it will be fixed uh, along with the Mizen update. Ooh, question about the root map collectibles as well. Will they be changed to show the added branch? I expect the, the root map as well, perhaps by extension. Well, this one will, uh, of course, because that's generated dynamically. Um, I don't know if the root map collectibles will be changed. That's a really good thought. I don't think anyone had thought of that. Maybe. Oh, cement mixer, there we go. On the uh, on the roads. Eight point eight kilometers to Priestwitz. Okay, why are these gates not going up? There they go. Yeah, you shouldn't find any drivers um, driving on the wrong side of the road, no. <laughs> now, I want to set out a little challenge for you folks, because... Go oh, away, I'm busy. Um, I want you to take some screenshots in this area. You could potentially, if you time it right, get a train on both of these tracks where you've got a train in the distance here right the other track is just over there about there somewhere so can you get some cool shots of like an ICE going in one direction while your red train goes in a different direction I think that would be a fun shot no prizes except my adoration and appreciation maybe a real winner in the screenshot contest maybe I did also notice as well that speed had crept up. This no, is how you've been able to make up some time. Fine. This didn't happen. Sean McAllister's asked, when you can, can you give us a close-up of an HL signal, please, regardless of what it is showing? I suppose you might have to do that at a station, maybe? Yeah. driven this route yet. I'm, I'm too scared to drive German routes at the moment. Uh, but there was a point where I think the next four up challenge we were debating about with it. I think the one that I wasn't down for, I didn't end up doing in the end because um, I was on holiday, was a German route and I was secretly very glad that I couldn't embarrass myself yet again in a four up challenge, particularly on a German route. <laughs> I, need, I need to watch your tutorial tomorrow Matt and then I'll get involved and, and take a look at it. It did download, and I did go through the um, uh, tutorial this morning on uh, on Steam, so I'll uh, I'll take a look at it um, maybe over the weekend. You'll be fine. I, one of the main reasons uh, Mick thought, uh, sorry, um, Epica, sorry, um, is that, that I like German routes. Is the signalling and the uh, PZB? You know, I like the trains, but the signalling and the PZB is so much fun. Chief Longshin, not aware we made any changes to the wheels. Nope. Someone, um, asked, a really, someone asked a really good question about PZB and CIFA as, as safety systems. And 
it, it looks like rather than sort of the the British system, which seems a bit more kind of idiot-proof, where they make a big noise, you press to, to get rid of the big noise. It's very reliant on the driver, isn't it, to, to, to be very alert and very with it all of the time. Is, is there a reason why that's the case? Yeah, because the driver needs to be... See, it's it's kind of the other way around, because in the UK system, you can press a button to acknowledge the P, to acknowledge AWS, and then just carry on doing whatever you like, and nothing really bad happens until bad things, really bad things happen. Um, uh, either you go over a, uh, a TPWS overspeed or a TPWS train stop sensor, um, and the thing you know that means you've spadded and you're going to have to go and have a no tier biscuits meeting. Um, so, whereas PZB, the driver is um, the driver is in charge. They're responsible for the train, responsible for all the lives that are travelling on the train, and PZB is basically there to say all the time, "Are you watching?" You know, because you should know that this signal requires you to acknowledge. If you don't acknowledge, I'm stopping this train. So there's, it's been a PZB is the system which is trying to stop the train. If there's any possible sign that you're not paying attention and following the rules very closely, and um, and I, actually I find that actually quite a reassuring system because it's not it, it's yes it's relying on the driver, but you're always relying on the driver, and the PZB is checking the driver essentially. Um, which a lot of the safety systems don't really do uh, quite to the same extent and it's why some of the newer safety systems exist um, not just for speed purposes but looking at America for example why PTC is becoming such a bigger thing um, right we've got a thousand hertz there drop it down that was an alarm going to 60 We're down below 85 Get out of emergency break. But yeah, what you said exactly makes sense. Uh, it, yeah, it is perhaps a bit more reassuring. And of course, in Germany, this would be the case, wouldn't it? it that every, everything is always perhaps that little bit better in, in Germany than perhaps it is in a lot of other countries. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. PTC stands for Positive Train Control. So the access system, for example, uh, is, uh, is Positive Train Control. Why is my train not resetting? Well, it's just taking a break. It is having a break. It's having a right break. I think the problem is the brake won't come off. Should we blame the chat again? I think we blame the chat on that one, yeah. Can you add printable timetables in the future? Something we tried to do in the past, but it turns out to be quite difficult to... Uh, uh, you had this when you tripped PZB in the tower, so you had no idea what you did to fix it. So it's clearly cut out. There you go. Cut the power. Reapply the power. Dang it! You are going with me still. You are. Okay. Press and hold the parking brake release. Really? Nope. We could just shout, around, shout random things in the yeah, chat. Just, just get Matt to press all the buttons. Yeah, I'm going to press all the buttons at this point. And uh, yeah, the brakes. Oh, hang on. No, that, that is right. That's right. Oh, no, no brake pipe. Brake pipe is coming up now. There we go. I must have pressed the indirect brake on accidentally. Because I'm competent, me. Right, here we go. We're off. <laughs> you, you would have had a no tea and biscuits meeting there. Oh, I mean, the uh, shocking amount of timekeeping I'm managing at the moment. Let's release that. Because start program is boring. No, PZB, I don't think PZB triggers the indirect brake, but uh, uh, I think possibly because it was uh, it was in the hold position, it locked it. I can't believe we're still only four minutes late, five minutes late. Yeah. 
Josh, Josh and Murray uh, asked, said to use the megaphone and just call for help. <laughs> That's help. what I do. Right, this is Priestwitz. This is the last station on the main before we take the branch diversion. Stop any time, you know, train. You can see as well, the, the platforms are looking much busier. We're at a period of, uh, well, rush hour now. And uh, you've got lots of passengers on the platform, particularly on our platform. It's not a HL signal. I, don't, I think we might be out of HL territory here. So one of the issues is this shows Grossenhain as the destination when it's not. This is going to Cottbus, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I think this is a Cottbus service, so it should say Cottbus on there, not Grossenhain. Oh, hello. No, that's what I want. Get back in the cab. John's asked Mice and Branch is that route extension. Not how you might think it is. It's not. It, it, it's essentially a patch rather than. Yeah, it's an update to, patch. Ho, yeah, rather than having to buy something else that's going to be added added onto it. So it's, it's it's a free. Well, if you own the route, it's it's a free branch essentially that we'll just be adding later on down the line. So it's not a. You won't have to go on to um, Steam or, or or PlayStation or or Xbox and, and buy it as you might expect to that's why we're not going to call it a, um, a route extension it's just an additional branch that we're patching in for those of you that are seeing low fps if you can share videos of you know where the fps is we can get the teams on uh, you know because then because and make sure the hud is visible some people send us videos showing to showing problems they've got the hud turned off because they don't drive with the hud on but then we can't see anything that we need to know about like particularly the time of day because that's really important um, so uh, yeah, if you're having any FPS problems, um, record a video of it and share us it, share it to us, and we can that will help us a lot. Yeah. Uh, young train driver, when the Meissen branch gets added, will route map collectibles automatically update, or we need to collect them again? I imagine you wouldn't need to collect them again. No, 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 we won't touch the collectible database. Uh, are flying Pats has asked, are there non-drivable AI trains? Yes. Um, so, for example, you'll find that in the uh, Intercity, the BR101 service list, um, that the um, some of the services are only four minutes long. Uh, and the reason is because those services will run from Dresden here to Dresden Neustadt here, and that's it. Um, after they've done that, they will then run as AI only all the way up here, up here, up the avoiding line and then shoot up this line here so there's nowhere for you to finish the service so those ones are AI only so I think there might be others but that's an example that I can think of off the top of my head right let's get to Chris name clips from twitch streams yeah that will also help for performance issues as well um, yeah. we ask for video because it gives us more information and allows us to see it in reality rather than necessarily um, a static image or words on a on a on a page which as I say give us a certain amount of information but video is kind of king with this sort of thing. That journey mode problem Jan is actually we've been looking at that today because that was amusing, where the, you do the uh, cab car tutorial and then you end up in a 146. Um, and even more odd, that 146 is top and tailing, um, which is weird. So um, we've been looking into what on earth is going on there. And um, it looks like some of the services are coming out of the portals back to front, uh, which sets them up the wrong way around. So uh, again, service mode update, it's a relatively easy fix. And that should write all of that that ship. Nice. Right, we'll drop down to the sixty. 
Actually, let's stop here and have a look at this HL signal. This is HL signal. We'll stop here and look at that signal. By request. Nearly forgot that I had to respond to it. Was that what you wanted to see? Extreme close up. Extreme close up. It's a lovely model. Yes, yeah, so sometimes when you really zoom in, do you realise how much detail there is in some of those things? Yeah, really. Normally you're just flying past it. Right, now, note to self, I'm in monitor monitoring now. Means 40 kilometers an hour. Okay, so after this, we are going to be taking on a 363, I believe. Is that correct, yes. Matt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just going to do one short run with the 363. Delivery. Yeah, no, TB Blue. Make you happy, Moggy. <laughs> it's a German grunk. Push the FPS counter down. That's a revolutionary idea. I love it. Why did we not think of that? It's just there, it overlaps the thing and every time it's on, it's like, oh, it's really annoying. Just move it. Sometimes someone just needs to let the air out of your tyres, you know? Kevin Sim, I couldn't possibly comment. No idea what you're talking about. Why am I monitoring? Because I stopped. If you come to a stop while you're on uh, 1000 hertz, then it switches into uh, monitoring. I stopped to go and look at that signal. What happens if you ride an AI training train as a passenger when it goes off the map? Uh, it will just fade the screen out and say you've reached the end of the world, or something like that. The end of the simulator created route, or I can't remember the words. Something like that. Challenge you get for kicked out. Today, Evening, Mega Sim. Booted out of the seat. That was a near perfect. There you go, gold medal. See, even the game thinks that was perfect. <laughs> Right, okay, let's go and find some 363 joy. We've not done the 363 on the stream before, which is why I thought, let's do some 363. Oh, absolutely. I didn't realise we hadn't done it with um, your previous stream with Sam. No, we didn't. Bit of cloud on there. Right, let's do the first one. I love this train. I just want to say, I just, I love shunters anyway, but I just really like what the team did with this one. Uh, I can't remember all of the is that front headlights on. We are going to have to do the horn for this one. I have to realise, Matt. That one. That one. So we've got all of our front headlights on now. We need to uh, switch this to be the active control panel. 
Um, kick it into forwards. Release the brakes. Put that into release as well while we're here. But let's. Good. Right. Then we uh, put it into. No. Put it into fill. Hold. And then push it up. And you just tweak the throttle. It's just glorious to drive. There is a request to just do a shunting stream. That's for Baked Bean Kid, I presume? No. Liam suggested it. Oh, I think this is something that Baked, King, Baked Bean Kid put him up to, personally. <laughs> or Moggy. Or Moggy. I think, did, did we do I, I, I've got no audio, so I can't hear. Did you, did you just horn? There we go. Actually, what we can do is get the windows open. Make sure you put the couplers down. Yeah, we'll do that once we get into the platform. Which route does the 363 live on usually? Well, this one lives here. The red one is on Raw Zignord. Right. Our stopping point is at the end of the platform. No, I like the um, the insane uniqueness of the controls on this thing with a uh, manually lapped brakes, manually lapped air brake, uh, loco brakes, and essentially the equivalent of a manually controlled throttle. Um, it's just really unique, really cool. I'm really, I'm really liking it as well. Some uh, bad guy suggesting might have to put this new shunter on a high speed route and see what it can do off the rails I would imagine. Enjoy. Where's the headlight control? So there's one on the desk in front of you and one on the wall behind you. You have to get them both set correctly for the lights to show up. Right, let us stand up and go and sort out the coupler. We left the RK900 couplers on here uh, because they're quite cool. They allow you to do the uh, coupling from the cab uh, and it seemed like some of the images we saw of them they've been fitted with these so it seemed reasonable to leave it on there as opposed to taking them off and just leaving them with old fashioned hooks Liam's asked does the red 363 layer onto this route I don't believe it does does it? no I don't think it does no. I set reversing People have got all kinds of ideas about throwing it down the LGV hill and all that kind of I stuff. I was going to say the LGV has got to be done, hasn't it, really? Oh, again, record it, please, and send it through to us. It definitely sounds like the kind of thing Sam would do. Cool, we've got permission to go through the signal. What causes this loco to madly accelerate when you put the throttle so high? I don't know. I hadn't seen it do that, to be honest. So make a video, report it. I really like this blue livery, I have to, I have to admit. It's a really nice colour blue. It's a nice colour blue. Contrast with the red wheels. Feels like it's got smart shoes on. Hey, Galja! You still lounging away on holiday? 
Oh, hello, freight train. John's asked for more German routes from TS Classic here in TSW2. I imagine probably at some point, probably. Um, the roadmap's got all the bits and pieces that we're currently working on. Uh, I don't believe there are any German routes at the moment, further German routes on there at the moment. Um, obviously, we can update it as and when we've got more information for you. Yep. Valentin's asked, I don't know if you, you'd be able to answer this one, Matt, but how do you set the line numbers of passenger train? You can't set the line numbers. You can only set their destinations. The line numbers come from the uh, service they were on currently, so we don't have the ability to uh, set the line numbers. So if, if you remember previously, you couldn't even set the destination on trains. So this is a, a new thing where we'd, we've been able to make it to where you can set the destinations um, and we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a... Uh, we're probably going to have to get closer to implementing the actual FIS system to, uh, to get it to where you can set things like the line numbers as well. Red light here while we wait for that freight train to get out of the way and then we uh, trundle our way round. So these services essentially with the uh, 363 are just a run backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, moving um, uh, four lots of five wagons um, over from the, the yard here at Risa to um, the uh, chemical factory at uh, Vysig. Uh, Bro got trips so when you buy the rush hour tickets, do you immediately get this? Yes, this and uh, Boston Sprinter and uh, London, sorry, yeah, London, yeah, London commuter will come a little bit later down the line. What is the top speed of the 363? 60, I think. That seems like a question that wants us to try to get to the top speed. Well, we've got an open track ahead of us just about, so... We ain't catching up with that freight train, but that one. at the LGV tunnel. That sounds like a stream, that does. I'm going to suggest that to Sam. He'd love that. Folks, we're now full speed. We're now full power. Let's see what this baby can do. Uh, is temperature semi-graphed? I don't think it is currently, no, Rob. I don't think they've got as far as um, modelling engine temperature. Oh, it's doing the changeover. It does, and it defaults into long long journey, long distance. So you can use that to switch them. But to, so if you're just hunting in a yard, you can switch to short distance and you get uh, more precise control. Whereas to achieve the uh, top speed, you use the long distance mode. Sounds like it's doing its third change over. Uh, Cabe P, that's how you pronounce it. Um, 
why why do the IC and the ICE coaches have no lights inside at the moment? Um, I don't know. I don't um, know. We noticed it as well. We're going to get someone to have a look at that. There is indeed PZB on the loco. Um, the switch for it, I'm just going to get up and wander around. The switch for it, uh, to turn it on, is here. Uh, you flip the breaker cover and um, there is the, uh, the switch in... Uh, that's the breaker, okay. The switch is in there and then that will enable PZB. Uh, and it's slightly different to normal PZB because it works both directions. What's a fine control lever for? Nothing. It just does that. In reality, it's messing about with something inside the engine that makes no difference to normal use. So we just made it operable, um, but it doesn't actually do anything. Bad guy, does LZB exist on this train? No, sadly neglected on the LZB front. We are creeping up to 60 miles or 60 kilometers an hour. And we're going downhill. Sixty one, there we go. If I repainted the tanks into chemical plant delivery, would choosing the 360 register me to choose my reskin tanks? No, um, it would randomly substitute them into the uh, into the wagons that are on the on the route. So you might find that some of the ones you couple up to are going to be your reskin versions. Oh, that's cute. Big big Trump must have said they're driving the exact same service now, but they're 20 minutes ahead of us and on the way back to Riza. If anybody is playing along right now, um, let us know what you're doing. Um, we'd love to see what you're up to in the in the chat. Um, if you want to follow us on any of the services that we're doing tonight, please be our guest. We'd love to love to kind of play along with you tonight. We're on level track now. Valentin's driving the RE18 to Grossenheim. Will, sorry, will that branch, which branch do you mean, Gangster Gaming? Do you mean the Meissen branch? Um, it'll just be added to this route when it's there. It'll be an, uh, there will be no charge, just be updated to the route. There's no arrival time, no. no freight, only freight services generally aren't assigned freight arrival times. The game can do it, but we generally don't assign arrival times to freight. Jake Shaw is running the service about five minutes behind. Let's see if you can get past the magic 60 kilometres an hour barrier. Can you blame us if you trip PZB while listening to us? No, blame chat. Blame the chat, that's always the way to do it, probably. I might blame bait being kid personally. Mm -hmm. Not enough shunting. A face full of gantry. Um, Victor, not entirely sure what it is that you're asking um, around articles not showing on Xbox. Possibly the Dev Told Live articles? Possibly. That might be that might be the reason. Um, 
Is that something we were aware of? Now? No, I wasn't aware of any problem with that. No, if that's the case, then if you put something into, if you don't be able to let us know in the technical reports for it, we can take a look at it and see um, if there's anything we can do to, to help. <clears throat> so with the Mason branch, it's technically the first route extension. It's not the first route extension in the way that everybody wants to think of route extensions, no. This is just literally updating the route with a patch. Yeah. Some people have suggested on the forums it'll be delivered as a separate like pack file, for example, and they'll be doing merging. None of that's there. None of those, none of the problems that I've identified as preventing extensions are solved by doing this. This is just literally carrying on developing the route and re-uploading uh, re it. Yeah, it's just doing it how do you change the cursor size uh, so good point go to uh, settings and then down here you want to find crosshair visibility 50% is half it's like half transparent 100% is a full white dot large is the donut um, and then if you go into controls you've got the auto hide crosshair which will then dynamically turn it on and off depending on whether you're moving or not so there's the big large donut crosshair and then if you just wait a minute without moving the cursor boom it turns off Bryce asks, bro got drip asks what's the price of this on PS4 if you're signed into Dovetail Live um, I don't think being signed into Dovetail Live has an impact on it at all if you're looking to get the route by itself I believe it's twenty. Or ninety nine pounds. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what the conversions are to different currencies. If you're looking to get the season ticket, which will enable you to get all three of the rush hour routes, I believe that's thirty five yep. pounds. Thirty four ninety nine. Why is there no leeway time built into the service? Um, I don't know is the answer to that question, uh, Kevin Sim. Um, it's I need to. One of the things I need to go through with the team when they're making them is to be consistent in terms of the uh, the setup for the scenarios and the services. Um, so um, we will get better at doing that. If I can fix it into this one to where we've got some more when I do the service mode update, then I'll try and do that. But it might break too much adding all those extra times in. Oh, it's not saving the cursor settings on Xbox. Okay, I think there's a few settings that are not saving, so uh, I'll, I'll get them all looked at. Are plans to add five car talent twos? No, there aren't. Um, we originally did look at it, but it's essentially another five car complete rebuild. Um, it's it's not much like adding an extra coach and doing it twice or adding two extra coaches. It's another complete rebuild. So uh, no, that's why you've got the the two by three car units subbing in for the five cars in in the game. Can you see the wheels? Yes, go for the wheels. There. Um, yeah. M27 asks uh, about the uh, Flughaven um, branch, that's something that's not currently in the plan, um, not currently working on it, don't believe there are plans to at this stage, um, nope. so the, we, we, we basically had a choice with the amount of time that we had for this particular route to choose one of the two branches, uh, and we chose the Meissen one because we thought it was a bit more picturesque, a bit more fun. Um, and uh, that's what we're going with. Uh, I haven't turned motion blur off. Uh, it's a bit less visible, I think, on this one because it's uh, it's got spokes, maybe, but it's still definitely doing it. There's been no change to motion blur and the wheel uh, and the wheel badness. Yeah, I know wagons are something we've been talking about making for a while now, Fabrizio. We just uh, haven't, got, haven't got to it yet. Right, let's 
cut the power. There's the chemical plant over there. All we're going to do in this one tonight, though, is just park up. The dial out the front, I think, is the fuel gauge. I think. I've not actually checked. It was my guess. After this, we will be doing a freight route on the with the 185, and I would like to request that we do this during the night time, please, Max. Yep. Dresden. Containers are not currently repaintable. It's something we'd love to do at some point, Rob, but we haven't got the uh, we haven't got that in there yet at the moment. Josh has asked another three and a half hour stream tonight. I don't think so. It's been it's been a long day. I think for both be on that. Wimp. <laughs> Training for a marathon. Leave me alone. Uh. There's one at seven o'clock. That should be nice and dark. It'll be it'll be lightening up by the time we get there. Let's go the other way round. Why don't we go for uh, Risa Dresden at twenty forty nine? Yeah, that should be nice and dark. So this is kind of the the pièce de résistance, really, of the route, in, in my opinion, anyway, is this is this new night lighting that we've implemented specifically on this route. Um, and Matt, I know that we we kind of touched on it in a couple of the preview streams already, but um, I think it'd be really useful once we get started to give a little bit of a um, a 101 on what perhaps is different on this route than you might normally see on a TSW route in the night uh, at the night time. It should hopefully be quite obvious when we when we're driving through it, but it'd be good to get a little bit of commentary on it. Yep. So people are asking about the uh, headlight switch. This is here. So you want to make it set to the uh, to this one. So this is actually set correctly, but sometimes they start in tail light mode. So you just need to switch it back into headlight mode at the top there. All right. I think we have everything we want. Do. RFB, RFB, RFB. AFB on. Apply some power. Take us a minute for all the brakes to release on the train. Oh yes, exactly the right train as well. So these are new and very pink. New branded, officially magenta wagons um, from the uh, Ocean Network Express, but also with the other ones as well. So we, we are building up the uh, the real brands wagons, uh, real brands containers slowly. Um, so I know that everybody likes that. So we we'll keep trying to add more to that list. Oh, somebody's noticed it's easier to drive on night time for those who are visually impaired. That's cool. I hadn't thought of that, but... And that's really interesting. Is is 
There's a thread talking about um, accessibility in the game, but interested to know why that is. Maybe there's something we, um, a visual adjustment we can make to daytime to make it easier to see or something. Is it because the signals um, stick out more clearly, contrast-wise? Oh, it's nice to see you sitting over there. Yeah, we, we, we're very up for trying to do what we can to make it more accessible uh, for everybody to play. So if you've got suggestions, again, tag one of us in the forums and we'll do our best to kind of... I mean, we're obviously not be able to do everything um, straight away, but it's good to kind of put them on a list of things that we'd like to do and sort of chip through them as, as we go through. Mm. Someone asked, what does the W sign mean? I, f I think they're basically, I can't remember what the W stands for, but it essentially it's a stop board, I think. You stop, contact the dispatcher before you proceed, something like that. And the W being a German word, or German origins thingy. I'm sure somebody in the chat is going to be able to Someone answer that question. So. Yeah. You guys have been spared quite a lot tonight, actually, because of our terrible German pronunciation. Uh, we will try and get a couple in, just just, just because you, we know that you want it uh, before the end. Warten, which means wait. There you go, means wait. It's even, it even works in English as well, so you can just see it as a wait board. Thank you, LI150. As you can see, the um, signals are much more visible as well, which Ooh. is great. Oh, I lost it. There you go. I was a bit adventurous on the wheels there, and I span. Crazy killers asked, "Is there?" I noticed this actually as we were driving over it. Is there some history as to why someone made those two bridges different colours? Yeah, I've no idea. Someone Google it and find out. The W, in fact, stands for Wood Moggy Like Ice Cream. Go ask him now. No, it means Moggy Wooden. Right, we're on our way into the uh, into the blackness. Um, so there's a number of things that have been done um, differently in terms of the night time. Um, now, you saw the way that the, the route was lit up. Um, uh, uh, what are we on here? We're on high beams. Um, and so you've got these areas where you've got pools of light in you know in various places as, as, as they would be on the route. Um, but then if you look into the into, as into the distance, you've got the white boards, and they're, they've now got like a reflective effect on them, so you can see them you know much more in the distance. Um, and it's really it's, it's it's about putting a lot of effort into. Um, one of the things Ed has done is he's looked at the whole time of day system and all the lighting curves and tweaked them quite a bit so the lighting is more natural um, and, uh, and darker at night um, then put the lighting pools in around the route change the reflectiveness on the signs and the end result is you get a different kind of night ambience than we've had before certainly my favourite is, my, is I, I love driving this route at night now yeah it's great isn't it and um it's one of the things that I think, given we've seen the feedback from players around this night lighting, it's not something that will likely be involved in the um, the London commuter route, but it's something maybe that we'll consider um, for, for, for future routes in terms of scoping and making like seeing if it's something that we're able to do for some for some of those routes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah. I love the sky as well. I think the sky looks great. Well, the sky's always been there. It's just not been easy to see because of the other lighting issues. So it's kind of it sort of brought that back out a bit. <laughs> just make London bright and completely fog-bound. Problem solved. I mean, to be honest, sometimes if you do go in the winter, it's pretty much just a... <laughs> A fog cloud anyway isn't it so oh, I know what I was gonna to say to you um, Matt I went to the office for the first time yesterday really uh, I took a javelin train and I was like wait a minute I recognize this bad boy <laughs> um, yeah so uh, I was uh, I went to the office for the first time it was lovely lovely and you didn't tell me so I could come in and say hi I'm gonna, well I mean I'm gonna take that personally yes 
fair. But I mean, there weren't that, there weren't that many people in the office, to be fair. So uh, yeah, it was, it was a really really nice uh, really nice experience actually. Yeah, it's really nice office. Talk about Anfield song. So it's a little bit of a steering away from what people are actually here to 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 look at, but um, uh, more on travels with James in, uh, in next week's live stream. Uh, if the sky is cloudy, does it affect the night light without the stars moon? So if the sky is cloudy, it will make it darker, yeah. I think that the light looks warmer as well, which is nice. It looks a little bit less clinical. Um, it looks more kind of how you would expect, say, like a, a town to look in, in, in the night time. Hmm. Well, if you look at various cab ride videos of um, from trains at night, you do basically go from blackness to blackness with these pools of light in between where stations and and various bits up. Oh, I sped up and I shouldn't have done. Ugh, never mind. That will give whatever's in front of us time to get away. That was the idea, anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Just shush and stop. Blame the track. Go on. Yeah. Thank you, be quiet. But you can see that it's not just around the uh, um, where the you know directly where the track is, it's sort of into the distance as well, so that the whole place just looks more alive at night. Put a little bit of power on and then we'll wait. Again, it'll take a minute for the rest of the brakes to come off. Uh, someone's come up back with the uh, the bridge, the Elba Bridge question. Um, Ariza, it was once completed in 18, uh, 39. It marked the completion of the Dresden to Leipzig Railway. Maybe that's why it's a different colour. Ah. See, this is a six car talent too. This is two times three. This is standing in for a five. I suppose ask, would it make sense to do a video one day about top speeds, in particular German freight trains? Try to do some research on the internet, but got a bit lost. Um, CWF Green actually has posted a really interesting um, something like um, how to realistically drive freight trains on Dresden Reza or something like that and he's posted lots of tables and graphs and all sorts of interesting things which um, are well worth a read and hopefully they'll give you a bit more insight into some of the in-depths of it. Talk about Influence on. Right, hopefully that, that will have let uh, whatever in front of me um, get further away. That was the entire goal of that exercise. Um, which means that we can speed up a little bit closer now. Uh, not long after Nuncrits actually is the diversion and we will uh, we'll take the uh, avoiding line. Um, question is, where is my nemesis? Hopefully it's not on the avoiding line. Possibly that one was ahead of me. In which case, it'll be back ahead of me again soon. Talk about him for some. Right. So to clarify, you won't be stopping ahead and to let trains get ahead. I may, I may decide to. I may decide to, Rob. So, um, someone's asking the chat, how do we use AFB? So to use AFB depends on whether you're moving or whether you're st uh, stationary. So if you're stationary, which is the easiest way to do it, then look down here, which 
you can't do it at the minute because you know it's dark. But there is a switch down here called AFB, the AFB toggle. You want to turn AFB on. If you're on PC, it's Control R, uh, or if you've got a keyboard on your console, it's still Control R. Um, so once you've got AFB turned on, then it's this left-hand lever that you're moving backwards and forwards to control the speed, and then the throttle lever controls power. Some trains it's more awkward than others. Sometimes you can actually look down uh, and see it. Um, there you go. AFB main switch. See, you can sometimes see it from here. It's obviously you know easy to see it in the day. Um, we've got uh, this is a nice lit, another nice lit area. You can see where this is a slightly more modern thing. Again, the lights have got a more modern feel to them rather than the older sodium yellow lights that you see in other areas. So, you know, the lighting, just like with the um, the ballast, sort of gives you an idea about renewals and where lights have been replaced to where they're still old original lights, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think Ed put in the chat something like the... Um the sodium lights uh, kind of more East German work versus the brighter, I don't know, what be within them um, lights would be more kind of characteristic of West Germany. Uh, where's the AFB it's switch on the ICE? It's on the left uh, multifunction display, the left panel. Um, you need to go into the, uh, there's an AFB control um, switch or uh, button on the left hand screen you can use to turn the AFB on. If you look on um, our YouTube channel, there is a tutorial on the ICE and it covers how to turn the AFB on, if I remember rightly. It's only a short video, well worth a watch. Does throttle still affect wheel slip? Oh yeah! If you put too much throttle down, then AFB will, AFB will use up to the throttle level you've specified. So if you specified too much, as I did earlier on, it might wheel slip it. Yeah, there was a point where I was, I was worried that we were going to be uh, we were going to be going uh, go quite fast. It was just wheel slip. I was always in full control. Blame the chat. Yeah. So in terms of the collectibles on the route, then um, I know a few people have mentioned um, some of them in the chat already. Um, what can players collect on this route? Maps, spray cans. Someone help me. Gnomes. Gnomes, yes, gnomes. And presumably posters. There's normally posters. Yeah. Uh, medical uh, kits. Medical kits. Medical kits. Some people have uh, had a lot of fun trying to find the the gnomes so far. There's not. I think from what I can gather, they're hidden quite well, um, which is which is always fun. Some of the placements of them were truly evil though they they, they were improved is there a is, is there a donkey on this route there is a donkey on this route it's not hard to find I don't know if anybody's picked up on that. I haven't seen anybody send a screenshot yet of the donkey We did say actually the other day, Matt, didn't we? That no, we don't. We haven't named the donkey, have we? No, we've never, we've never named the donkey, and I, I resisted the temptation to say, let's ask the community what to name it, because I don't want it to be called Donkey Ma Donkey Face. You know, it will be now. Now that we've said that, uh, I quite like Gronk the Donk. Donk the Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey donkey. AFB puts the brakes on. Uh, I would suggest a video. I'll keep saying this, but um, if I would suggest a video so that I can see what it is you're doing. I think AFB puts the brakes on if you're stationary, but if you apply power, it should release the brakes. One thing to remember with the 146 is you need to apply 10 kilonewtons of force before the brakes will come off. 
So just apply the power, watch the force meter until it's reading at least 10 kilonewtons and then it will release the brakes. Is that 27 kilometers till <laughs> final destination? Yeah, non stop. Cool. Current headlight setting is on uh, headlights bright. <coughs> and there is, of course, mastery on this route as well for any people that are interested. We won't go into too much, we'll let you explore that one yourself. Thomas has asked about the um, the uh, Flughaven branch, the airport branch. Um, no current plans to add that, it was a choice between Meisen and the Flughaven branch. We decided to go with the Meisen branch. Yep. It says bonus points for finding the two other animals that have been added. Ooh. Bronchi's got a mate. Or mates. I'm going to make this happen, by the way. It's going to be Gronky. <laughs> oh, dear. Passengers not considered an animal, I don't think. So Matt, what would you say your um, f favourite part of, of this route is? What would you say if you could choose one thing, or one section of the track, or one scenario, or one time of day to be driving in, what, what would it be? Well, it'd be night time. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it'd be night time. Um, and I quite like the... Um, the, the commuters, the stopping trains that run along the length of the route, uh, because the, you get to see the the whole of the route, but you also stop a few times. Um, it feels quite interesting. I quite like the shunting, but I want. I mean, you know me, I want more shunting. <laughs> Uh, Zoom spotting. If you're having problems, can you make sure you you've noted them or reported them via the either on the forums or in the um, support, um, so that we can gather as much information as possible. Thank you. And any questions about London commuter? We will talk about when we start talking about London commuter. Mm. Are the stars um, accurate? I'm going to assume not, but I don't know. I've not actually looked. I think the stars is a standard thing that comes with the sky band we use. I would be super impressed if they are accurate. Um, I can't see any constellations in there that I recognise, but... No. So in terms of this loco, Matt, um, I'm going to ask the question again in terms of improvements and changes that we've made 
to this loco is that is it kind of as wholesale as some of the other ones or is it is it we've kind of left this one no no, no this one had a full physics rebuild um i mean i think most of the locos had full uh, rebuilds on the physics um and uh, i think the audios had a touch up as well I don't think we're too far now from rejoining the Mono. We're halfway down the uh, avoiding line, then we'll join up the main again. Have we managed to avoid our potential nemesis? No, I don't think so. Talk about Angel Song. New internal audio as well, Derek. Okay. I think Mike worked on some of these. Mike Golds. Does the moon have a reflect, reflect glow? I would doubt it. Particularly if we've used it from an external pack. Ziva. Talk about it. Let's go and wake up the uh, people in the neighbouring houses with a cheeky horn. There we go, all you unsuspecting town dwellers. <laughs> Operation Shift Control is X button on your Xbox controller for PC. That's because that's what we set it up as, Kappa Pay. Why is it a problem? through my town uh, definitely use the horn at all times of night and um, because it's been very warm here in the UK over the last few days the windows have been wide open so basically they've woken up quite a lot of people up I think the, the local Facebook groups are not impressed whereas I would love it <laughs> some people have like dawn bird choruses Matt prefers horn choruses train horns Or you can see the attractive force meter there, Man as the AFB manages the speed to try and keep it around the 120. 14 kilometers now to Dresden Mitter. And that's where this train terminates. No, we stop at Dresden, which is a couple of kilometers further on. Oh. That's a go by, it's not a stop at. Are the MCAB voices recorded from the train? Um, yes. So coming down now to the uh, to the main line. Song. I've never been on HS1, no. Sorry, okay. I imagine it's very loud though. Living near it, I imagine it's very, very um, sleep depriving. Now, with the sound barriers. I don't think you really hear too much from this one, do you? Right, I think this is where we join back up. Yep, this is where we join back up. Thanks, train simulator driver. Appreciate it. We will take a look at that maybe tomorrow morning. Ziva. 
Nice one. Thank you, train simulator driver. Just coming along now, the main line. There's the other track there, over on the right hand side. Yeah. Would I travel on the new Merseyrail 777? I'd drive, I'd travel on anything. Why be fussy? AFB just does whatever I set it to, so I'm using the, the um, controller to set the AFB target speed. So it it just does. It's just literally, you know, in the in the void here, this lever that you can see on the left hand side, uh, so clearly, um, that one is the uh, that one there. That one is the uh, AFB. You just move it backwards and forwards to set it to the appropriate speed. Have I made a Knight Rider successor on this route to Shelf the Lighting? No, I haven't. That's be a good idea, actually. That was quite a fun scenario. <laughs> uh, I wrote a scenario for the uh, on London Brighton, um, the original London Brighton on TS1. It came with the uh, four SIG update, and um, it's at night time, and you are chasing yellows all of the way, and then I made it to where about halfway along the train you were following peeled off to go somewhere else. So for a little bit, you've got greens. And because you're struggling to make your times, you're definitely tempted to start going, right, I'm going to run to the greens. <laughs> and then I put another train right in front of you. And uh, the number of people that get trapped by it, including me, to be fair. <laughs> that, I can imagine you sort of being in your laboratory, just like with your hands like, like Mr. Burns style from The Simpsons. Excellent. Exactly. Almost exactly what happened. There you go, I just put fun in inverted commas equals full of spad opportunities. Yep. Talk about him for a song. Uh, short draw distances and so forth are extended on the PS5. PS4 Pro runs the same draw distances. Um, it's the PS5 um, that will give you the longer draw distances on that one, Campbell. It's one of the benefits of the next gen console. Yeah, yeah. Series X and PS5 push the draw distances out much closer to PC. They're not far off PC at that point, to be honest. Talk about him for a song. So this route, um, if you've not already got some of them, comes with five locos. Yes. Um, the DBBR442, the 143, 146.2, uh, the 185.5, which we're driving right now, uh, and the 363 with the blue livery that we saw earlier, which looked spectacular. You get five locos with this if you haven't got them already. Um, there are some additional layers for some other, uh, some of the other German locos as well that you might uh, uh, own from other 
um, add-ons that you've got in the past as well. Um, so have a look, explore. Uh, this is quite a, a Swiss army knife of a route, or a German army knife of a route. <laughs> coming up on I think that's there where it peels off for the freight avoiding line let's just check that yeah that's the freight avoiding line that we just passed on the right this bit of side by side running that weird moment when you look over at other passengers in the other uh, in the other train particularly weird when you're on the underground <laughs> you have the, the random parts where you've got the two trains alongside each other after having so long without having anything to look at and everyone just looks bewildered and and scared Ziva. talk about influence on KTL asks an interesting question. Um, are there any plans for scenarios where we could learn the safety systems? So we, we're constantly looking into that uh, because that you know that's a really you know, a lot of people said they want in-game tutorials. The challenge is how to make that effective uh, because you get basically with PZB that's you get one awesome. shot and then it's wrong and what you want to do is restart. So you'd end up reloading it all the time. Until you got it right and I don't know if that would be a particularly frustrating experience so we need to find the right way to do that but yeah we are still thinking about what would be the right way to do that yeah I'd love for us to sort of think about tutorialization and whatnot as well I know a lot of people here are experts and know exactly what it is that they're doing but obviously there are a lot of people who mm. aren't and that's 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 great we want to try and help people along that journey and um, those people have never tried a German route before um, it, Get, help them as much as we can do to, to give them an enjoyable experience so yeah let's Matt I think maybe we'll we'll, we'll take that one away and, and have a think of, well, I know you, you're obviously thinking about it already but um, I'd like to see what we could do with that as well yes absolutely all right just a no stat down already for the 60 kilometer hour the high pitch noise is from some relay or something is how it was described I can't remember it there's some some component can't go past the bridge without looking at a few screenshots of that so far. Gorgeous, isn't it? It looks great. I am going to look into something like Lunar Visits because I understand it, it's authentic, but it's one of those things that, well, maybe we don't have to do that bit of authenticity if it's going to, because it does seem to drive more people up than it pleases. Boom. 2.1 kilometers and I will not mess this up this time. This is where, this is where we our service terminates. Not that we'd announce that anyway because we are doing a freight route, but anyway. Containers, please get off at the next station. <laughs> uh, try looking below the um, below the teardrops, Morricom. 
look below them rather than you're probably Talk trying to be exactly on them. Try looking a little bit below them. Talk about Inflosong. 60 kilometers an hour. Talk about Inflosong. Turn the P AFB off. Do we know how many services players have access to? With 350 in total, 350. including the DLCs, and that'll only increase with Mizen. Um, no, it'll probably stay the same with Mizen. Although we'll probably we, Mizen itself won't result in an increase of services because all the Mizen services are already in. They just don't stop course, as far as Coswig. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we are going to look at adding some extra freight and so forth that might in increase that number. We'll know more about that once we actually get the job done on that one. Cool. Here we are coming into Dresden. Talk about Inflosong. Talk about Inflosong. Oh, boy, so the, level, the two level station at Dresden looks really cool. There's a lot, I think there's quite a lot of work that's gone into the station artwork at, at Dresden. Mm. Um, I think it looks great. Talk about Inflosong. Do any services use the upper level? We're about to use the upper level, but yeah, S1 and S2, I think, use the upper level. And RB31, RB17, uh, RE50, I think, generally use the lower level. I think that's what it is. But no, all, all of these platforms get used in one way or another. We're, we're actually going to be just over to the side, actually. We're not going to be on the uh, in the station. We're going off in, into the, the dark behind of the station. Wait, no, train has gone before... There's a service there, just leaving over there. Looks like an S1. Ah, oh, yes, the idea is you look at the actual teardrop that's, um, that's indicated. Uh, Talk about Inflosong. Uh, does it normally say as indicated? Yeah, indicated meaning where the blue where the blue stop marker is. Essentially, is why, why it's saying that. I see you generally up on this platform next to me. Over here somewhere. Talk about Inflosong. Trying to understand. So Va 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 um, Vasholik has asked, um, is there some map of the routes that shows which route add-on adds what and where, Talk like an extension Inflosong. overview for, say, the German lines, like a guide on what maybe to buy next if they're interested, if they like this, if they like this kind of route. Um, interesting idea. Interesting idea. Talk about Inflosong. I quite like that idea. Almost like a you like kind of like a Netflix style. You you like this, you might like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, interesting. Yeah, but that that's definitely something that's piqued my interest. No, nothing at the moment, though. Just to confirm, it's something that you've just brought up there, and seems like a decent idea. Uh, how come you can't save your game and crashes with the IC3? Can you raise the support ticket uh, and give us as much information as possible? Yeah. Oh, man.
Really? <laughs> really? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Couldn't that's have stopped going on the list. Tried. No, that's going on the list. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right, well, there you go, folks. There is the uh, Dresden Reza route, which was released today. Um, we looked at the 143, the Talent 2, the 363, and the 185. Um, if you have any problems, please um, raise them on the uh, on the forums. And if you can include a video with uh, with what you're seeing, that really helps us understand what's going on. And please make sure you include the HUD so that we can actually see the more context uh, of what's going on as well. Um, uh, but otherwise, than that enjoy and uh, let us know how you get on. Yeah, it's, as Matt said before, it's it's kind of a, uh, almost like a journey that we've taken from all of the German routes we've taken so far. And it feels like this is kind of like the the culmination of all of those different things put together some of the best bits some new things in there um lots and lots of variety lots and lots of choice um we hope you really enjoy it um and let us know if there's anything that you would suggest for further routes that we might want to do um we've been i've been jd uh he's been matt uh and uh we will matt will be back tomorrow with a uh, german signaling 101 so that would be really interesting if you are interested in things like um pzb and all of the different safety systems and how they all interplay with each other uh as well as also some of the, the obviously the signaling side of things and next week i can't remember what's on rftv we'll find out on friday when we post it on the forums <laughs> um but uh, i'm sure i'm sure it'll be another exciting week um but yeah we hope you enjoy this enjoy playing it over the weekend um and uh yeah just let us know um how you how you're enjoying it and send us loads and loads of nice screenshots particularly over the bridge at night because that is stunning yes lovely have a lovely evening everybody uh enjoy what promises hopefully to be a nice weekend and uh we'll catch up with you again soon cheers everybody bye, -bye. see you later